Hi, Rays of Sunshine. So I'm doing voiceover for the very first time because I did not realize that music was playing in the background of majority of this video. Like while I was in the store, there was like store music playing in the background and I didn't realize it. Oops. So, um, so yeah, so voiceover it is to avoid all those issues with copyrights and whatnot. But anyways, I just wanted to take you guys along with me as I bargain shop for bargain accessories to go with my dolls so I it was a weekend and I just had some time off and wanted to take you guys along with me right now I am in Maxway so that is a little bargain store in my town and it's just not a big store like you know Walmart or anything but um yeah it's just one of my bargain shops that i like to stop into and check out like i'm in the toy section now just checking out to see what they have because they're always changing their inventory and right here is one of the dolls that i found for 7.99 and i really like the fashions in here I like that little green top would have fit a lot of my dolls and a lot of other accessories in there like that little butterfly thing and the pillows I thought that was really cute but then I saw this one like these darker skin dolls that were just so cute they have a really cute little face mold well all of them do but I just like the darker complexion of these and the hair and yeah I was like you know that might be a good little thing to get at a bargain price because the dolls were super cute so I keep those to practice like face ups and things on and their outfits were all super cute right here is a cute little tea set that I'm just showing you guys just because it was cute I'm not getting this one but later on in the video I get a different kind but it's just super cute and it's not really dolly scale either but that's $9.99 and I just thought it was really precious but I didn't get it and they had a purple one too. All right, y'all. So next stop was the Dollar General. Check out these adorable little bears. And I'm not just looking at them because of the bears, but the little hoodies. I think I'm gonna risk it. Like I would buy this now, but I think I'm just gonna wait and come first thing like after, I don't know, maybe after Valentine's Day and see if these go on sale for like 50% off. I don't know, or I might just check back tomorrow, but today I'm not getting it, but look at the two little, oh, that one says kiss you on it and it's pink. Uh, I'll have to be back because see, these hoodies would be the perfect size for a lot of my dolls and they're just unique and super cute and like i said only eight dollars you'd pay more than that for a custom like outfit for a doll so the fact that these hoodies and they're so well made the pockets don't open but the embroidery right there is really nice and it's really soft and you can tell it's like quality so i could just take this off of the bear and use it on a doll so like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna get this for the $8. I think I'm gonna wait till they go um, on sale, but let's check and see what else we can find. So we just left the Valentine's Day aisle, slim pickings there, but you guys, I'm a sucker for sales and they have a 50% off plus an additional 25% off. But I think this is just for clothes today, but um, you can, yeah this is just closed today but they had one on like accessories and other stuff right now they're trying to get rid of their clothes but they had one um on accessories and this is one of my favorite little sections to go to in dollar general this is where i got my little cupcakes that i used for my photo story and my notebooks they have some cute notebooks here this one's cute it's like sprinkles but yeah, I have this cute like little squishy notebook that I got here that's like fuzzy and it has a squishy on the top of it. And these are adorable little fox backpacks that are the perfect dolly size and I already got me one previously, but so cute. And I got the heart ones as well, but yep, super bargain price, but they're not on sale.
All right, y'all, so I'm here at another Dollar General. So my second one of the day. And in the toy section, I see these squishies. And I want to use it for like doll props. And I just love ice cream. So I think I'll get this. And check out how cute this little pizza slice is. <laughs> It's so cute and coming over here just taking a look see at all their little oh that little tea set is really cute and I know at one time I used um, a tea set that I had that was not as good as this one um, to like do to like use as photo props as well with one of my BJD so I think I might grab this because you know you pass over things like this thinking that you won't need them and then you know next thing you know you're like looking everywhere and can't find it so I think I might get one of those and it's only five dollars and then oh they have the candy kids I've seen this on another um, Instagram doll account that I follow and I've seen the larger versions and I always said that if they had like smaller little versions that I could like fit anywhere that I'd like that better oh that's cute She's really cute. Pastel. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to need to have. How much are these? Alright. These are $5 too. I think I need one of these. It's just too cute. Okay. Yeah. I think I might get this. Alright. So let's just keep looking. And then I'll share with you guys what I end up getting um, in the end. All right, it's voice over me again, and now we're at Walmart. I usually don't consider Walmart as being one of my like bargain stores to come to, but I had to get some groceries, so I thought I'd stop by the toy section and check it out since I haven't been here in a while, and I saw these really cute but interesting, not a not surprise, Mallory Duckington dolls. So I do have a couple not a not surprise dolls, and they're super cute i love them but i just thought that one was um really interesting because it was like a mallard duck inspired one um i think it's like a new one like a new um just character but i thought that was pretty interesting kind of funny but um she's cute and then these are those adorable little um like flocked animals that they have at walmart and i just thought they're so cute i love to pick up these at thrift stores whenever i find them um i need to do like a thrift haul video because i've recently found like a couple of them i really like that unicorn one but yeah for the price of like i think they're 20 dollars yeah 19.97 i was not gonna get them but i really love picking those up at thrift stores whenever i can this was the spirit doll i think her little mold is so cute in her face she's adorable her outfit is really cute as well i haven't seen the movie yet but um i plan on it encanto <laughs> the new disney movie that everyone's talking about i have seen it and i really really do love it the music is amazing in it all the disney princesses so pretty i love how they're making them a lot more realistic now like to the actual cartoon like animated princesses and i have not seen frozen 2 i have to watch that as well I really like this because I wanted the two little trolls and the outfit the little green and pink outfit right there um, because I know that could fit a lot of my dolls and then the trolls I collect trolls so I just really wanted the trolls but um, yeah I wasn't gonna pay the price I don't know if I show that in here but um, yeah it was pretty expensive but maybe one day I'll find that at thrift store as well or on sale and these are more of those little backpacks that are perfect doll size. These are the Real Littles backpacks and I've seen a couple YouTubers review these on their channel and open them up. They have really cute little doll size accessories inside of them that I'm sure I could use. But they're $8.82 and I paid, like I said, $150 or so when the ones at Dollar General were on sale and that's just the backpack it didn't have any accessories inside but these have a lot of potentially cute ones in there so I might pick up one of these one day and also um oh I like this little 
bunny rabbit one this little pink fluffy one um i might get that one and i don't know review it on my channel or something too and try them out because they are cute little backpacks and um hopefully i could use some of the accessories inside but they seem to have a lot of them in this store so i might actually try these out one day and see what kind of accessories i can get um inside all right, y'all, so I'm back from shopping and I just wanted to share the haul that I got with you guys. So I have everything that I got in here and let's go ahead and go through them. So like I said, I love to go to bargain stores. Like, like I said, the ones that I went to were Maxway, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Those are some of my like bargain stores that I like to go to to get like my doll accessories and things. And doll accessories online can be pretty expensive. Um, and I know in the BJD community, like lots of people like to photograph their dolls with really cute doll size accessories. I myself as a BJD collector love, you know, finding cutesy little accessories to um, showcase them and pick pictures as well so I'm always just looking for like cutesy things to display with them so yeah and we actually got some dolls too so not just accessories but let's go ahead and go through everything um let's see what was the first store I don't even remember what the first store I went to was but we're just gonna start I know which ones I got where so I ended up getting this tea um tea party set and like i said guys i was looking everywhere for a little like doll size tea set um for my bjd katara specifically for this halloween photo contest that i entered and i ended up just finding like a plastic one that i think i already had in my stash and i had to spray paint it and do all this extra work and it still wasn't exactly like her size like the right like scale i guess but i mean it worked but i found this cute adorable little set right here and it just goes with the decor I have it says um, sweet princess on it and it has these little like light pink and yellow um, flowers on the teapot and it's like this ceramic kind of material it's not plastic like the ones I had um, before well I still have them so I still might use them I like plastic because it doesn't really break easy and this seems like it could like break um, if I drop it hard or whatever, but they're just super cute. I'm not gonna open it up because I just like the sturdy packaging. Like I said, this is more on the fragile side, so I don't want to break anything. But yeah, it's a princess porcelain royal tea set, and it has 10 pieces in it. And for five dollars, I think that is really good for doll accessories. I can even like spray paint some of these teacups if I want um and display doll like some of my little miniature silicone dolls in them if i want to and like paint something different on the front but i really like how they are as is um i just love getting things that i don't really have to change like you know it all it's already a super cute little set but anyways like i said for pictures or um even displaying dolls this is a great little inexpensive um a little tea set that i was glad to have found because you guys know that feeling like when you go somewhere looking for something and you can never find it but then when you like it's another day you don't need it and you find one so i was like you know what i'm gonna just pick it up because you never know and i've needed one in the past so there's that so i got this one from dollar general like i said five dollars then what else do we have so I also picked up this little um, squishy ice cream cone from uh, Dollar General as well. And it's a really cute one. I have another one that I got from Dollar Tree. But this with the three scoops is super cute. And it was the only one left. So apparently it was pretty popular. But it's just really cute. It's just a really cute little prop. Like I can use it. My dolls, especially the ones back here, can use it for cute little pictures. Like probably in the summertime when, you know, everyone's eating ice cream out and about. But it's just super cute and um, squishy. So for only a dollar, I think it's a great little accessory to have. Let's see. And also at that Dollar General, so I went to two Dollar Generals, but this was the second one that I went to. I got this little cutie right here. I could not resist. So I saw these initially on Joshy Bear on Instagram, but I saw them on his Instagram and he collects these little, um, they're called Kindy Kids. And, but he had like the big ones and I was like, those are so cute, but I don't have space for those. And, um, 
yeah i just wanted them in like a smaller cutesy little handheld size and they're bobble heads and so i thought that was just super cute in their mini size and i'm a georgia girl a georgia peach so this is summer peaches summer is my favorite season i absolutely love peaches they're my favorite fruit and i'm from georgia which is a peach state um so i thought that was super fitting she is adorable and so I just could not resist. And they all have the cutest little names. This one doesn't come with a little like collection label or anything, but they have the, they all, these are all the ones in the series, I guess. And they all have the cutest little names, but I'm really glad I got this one. She was the only one left and yeah, she's just adorable. Look at her. So I got her and she also was $5. I think, let me check my receipt just to make sure she was. Yep, she was only five dollars. And then let's go ahead and talk about the doll that I got. So this was from Maxway. Uh, Maxway works with roses. I don't know if any of you guys know these two stores, but if you don't have Maxway, you probably have a roses. But it's one of my go-to bargain stores as well. And I got this little set. So you guys saw that in the video they are such adorable little dolls and i thought they were just really pretty dolls like really nice like cute little cheeks and i like the coloring and the hair looks pretty good quality it's called pajama party and this is like a knockoff it's not like a barbie like a name brand doll or anything but these were let me check yeah they were $7.99 and I think that's a really good price because I can use like just about everything in here. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you guys all that came inside. Alright, so here are the dolls and let's go ahead and get them out. Alright y'all, so I finally got them out. So these are the two little dolls. They, they feel really cheapy, of course. They're not the highest quality dolls. And of course, they don't have any articulation or anything. But I just think their faces are just so cute. They remind me of like Princess Jasmine. But their hair I thought was initially black, but it's actually blue guys can probably pick up on that because my hair is basically black and theirs is blue and it's actually it actually feels really like really good quality it's super soft so yeah if anything I could use the I really like the dolls though especially her like her little smile with her little chubby little cheeks I think she's really cute but if anything like I want to start wig making so I could use the hair for like a wig or something they're just really cute dolls like I think their face sculpt is just really sweet so I might do like, I do want to also practice like repaints and stuff. So I could use them for that. I don't know. I usually don't pick up these kinds of dolls, but these really um, caught my eye and I thought they were just really pretty dolls. So, and their outfits, super cute as well. Like I could keep them in this or I could use it for another one of my dolls because it kind of fits my color scheme that I have. It's a pink, light pink top with little flower printed um, pants on there. And then a dark pink top and then this one has a little like purple strawberries on a yellow background I just think that's just so cute like the little fashion on it is so cute too um, the tops are kind of basic but you know they work so we have the dolls and then we also have this little um, a dress included with butterflies on it. and then um, two little pillows that are really cheapy they don't have any cushion or anything inside I could use those for something I could also put like dolls on this or like some of my little like clay sculptures and stuff. I could sit them on this um, just so they're not directly like, you know, rubbing against the table or anything. And I think that's a really cute little um, accent, cute little touch. Also, they came with this little like soft robe that can also be used for a lot of my dolls and a brush, which I can include in some of the dolls that I sent out. It's a really cute little brush though. And then some shoes. I'm not going to undo this because um, I probably won't use the shoes in this. I'll probably throw the little shoes out. They're kind of just really cheapy little like Barbie shoes. I might try to do something with this little necklace. And this is like a little like a wallet um, purse thing. So yeah, all of that came in there for only $7.99. So I don't know. You guys let me know what y'all think. But I think that's a really good price for... Um, 
for what I got. So it's a lot in here. And like I said, the dolls are super cute and their fashions are as well. So I think that was, I got a bargain for that. Um, I also wanted to show you guys a couple things that I got, not on this little shopping, dolly shopping spree that I went on, but the other day I was showing you guys in Dollar General and um, Walmart as well, I had these little like kind of backpacks that are the perfect size for dolls. And um, yeah, these were the ones from Dollar General that I showed y'all. This one was not there cause they were all sold out, but I was able to grab them when these went on sale for 50% off. So I basically only spent like, I think a dollar, a dollar 50 or something for these little backpacks and they are just adorable. This one I used in a little photo story that I did for Valentine's day it is so so cute and then i absolutely love red foxes and i have one of my dolls um that it's like all like red fox themed and so i got this for her to kind of have as a little accessory yeah so they were 150 because they're 50 percent off it was the blue dots but these were from dollar general as well the first one that i went to and then I picked up these from Max Way, so the, the same place I got the dolls. And they're those bottles that look like, like the formula and stuff. I don't know if you guys can see, but when you tilt it back to like feed the doll, it like looks like it's disappearing. So the doll is like drinking it. And then when you put it back, it fills back up. So these were so popular back in the day and I haven't really seen them since but when I saw them in Maxway I bought all that they had and they had about like they came like two in a pack like this um and I think there were like six of them there and I just bought them all I don't remember the prices but yeah they used to sell these and now they're like you can't find them anywhere so I made sure that I grabbed them up and I'll be including these with some of my silicone doll babies um, cause I just think they're really cute and they're really cute accessories to have with my, um, little baby dolls. So, so yeah, so that's, um, all the stuff I got from like my bargain stores that I like to go to. You guys let me know in the comments if you like to bargain shop. Um, I like to bargain shop in general, but for dolls, like I know a lot of accessories for dolls, like I said, can be really expensive. Um, and when you just don't have the funds or want something fun and expensive for your dolls, especially if you're doing like a quick like little photo shoot or something, I mean, you know, cheapy little accessories like this play the part and and yeah, you can get some really, really cute stuff at bargain prices from bargain stores. So I just wanted to share that little haul with you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace, love, and blessings. Bye.